Life's journey is a mystery. We meet a stranger. He opens the scriptures to our understanding. He may be a mysterious stranger until we connect him to the bread. Who's the stranger? What's the mystery? Let's find out in Luke 24, verses 13 to 35. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. An ancient road led west from Jerusalem through the trees and fields to a warm spring and a town called Emmaus. Its ruins are still there inside a national park. The resurrected Jesus met two disciples on that ancient road. Do we recognize Jesus on our travels? They didn't, at first. As they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their faces. Then one of them, Cleopas, replied, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all these things that have happened there in the last few days. What things? Jesus asked. The things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said. He was a prophet who did powerful miracles, and he was a mighty teacher in the eyes of God and all the people. But our leading priests and other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. Like many others, they thought that Jesus was going to establish a kingdom of this world, Even today, in places like China and North Korea, political leaders feel threatened by Christianity. Yet Christianity is not a kingdom of this world, even though it gives our lives in this world purpose. We'd hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then some women from our group of his followers were at the tomb early this morning and they came back with an amazing report. They said his body was missing, and they'd seen angels who told them Jesus is alive. Some of our men ran out to sea, and sure enough, his body was gone, just as the women had said. They thought Jesus was a stranger. Is he a stranger to us? Don't we recognize him? Sometimes those closest to Jesus don't recognize him so distracted by the stories of Christ that we don't recognize him in our midst. Yet Jesus is here even now, walking with us. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people! You find it so hard to believe in all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Are we so foolish and slow of heart? Jesus expounded to them the scriptures about himself, yet they failed to recognize him until later. He also talks with our hearts as the holy scriptures are read aloud. Through creation, and through our consciences. Yet how often do we recognize him? By this time, they were nearing Emmaus and the end of their journey. Jesus acted as if he were going on, but they begged him, stay the night with us since it's getting late. So he went home with them. As they sat down to eat, he took the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment, he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? The guest became the host. Jesus blessed and broke the bread. Then their eyes were opened and they knew him. Does this picture our lives? Does Jesus journey with us? Does he open the scriptures to us? 
Do our hearts burn? Are our eyes opened as the bread is broken? And within the hour they were on their way back to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples and the others who had gathered with them, who said, The Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. Then the two from Emmaus told their story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road, and how they had recognized him as he was breaking the bread. An original definition of the word sacrament was simple. It meant a visible sign of an invisible grace. According to Augustine of Hippo, or as many still teach today, all of life is a sacrament. Eastern Christians call these sacraments mysteries because in something physical, we perceive something deeply spiritual. Let's pray to see God's invisible grace in the world around us. For instance, communion bread is far more than a mere symbol. It's a sacrament, a mysterious, invisible grace. In it, Jesus is revealed to us. In it, the mystery is revealed that the Lord is risen indeed. Our lives are like a journey to Emmaus. Along the way, we meet a mysterious stranger who walks with us and opens the scriptures to our understanding. As we partake of the communion bread, do we begin to appreciate who that stranger is and that he's very much alive. Mm